What's happening guys? Welcome back. We're getting started on the front suspension today. Alright, so we are going to get started on the front suspension. Um, it's going to take a couple episodes I'm sure, but uh, today what I want to do is, if nothing else, get the jig ready for the lower control arms. Um, we know from last episode that our lower control arms need to be 13 and a half inches long, but that's from pivot point to pivot point. So we need to get the ball joints that we're going to use out and the heim joints that we're going to use and measure how far they're going to stick out from that, uh, that lower control arm and then draw that all out onto a sheet of MDF. So we know the shape of our lower control arm and then build some brackets or something to hold the, the threaded plugs in place so we can weld our tubulars in between them. So I got a sheet of MDF. Um, I got the spindle jig out here so we can kind of make sure we're heading in the right direction. Uh, I'm gonna grab another ball joint, measure up our stick out, and then we can start building the jig. Because these lower ball joints have so much thread on them, we'd only end up with a lower control arm about eight and three quarters of an inch long. Um, but I'm thinking what we could do here is actually cut a section of this thread off because um, there's a lot of thread stuck out there. And we don't even have room to thread it all the way in here. So I think we'll grab the bandsaw and cut this threaded section down a little bit. So we get a little bit longer A arm, or else it's going to be very, uh, it's going to be shaped like that rather than like kind of that. So I think just aesthetically it'll look better. Also, having all that thread stuck out doesn't really sit right with me. So let's grab the bandsaw and cut this guy down. Cutting this chunk of thread off the end of this allows us to make our arms now 10 inches long, which is quite a bit better. So now we need to figure out how far the arms have to kick back from the front mounting point. So for that, we got to look at the chassis and the uh, spindle jig. hold our kind of our threaded plugs at the right height and perfectly parallel and everything and this is what I came up with so I took two pieces of two inch aluminum angle iron and in this one here I drilled uh, two half inch holes in it exactly 0.7 of an inch down off the top on center and exactly that uh, whatever it is 11 and a half inches apart that's how far we want our our lower heim joints and then this one here, 
I did the same thing, went down that 0.7 of an inch, but I drilled a way bigger hole to hold our, uh, our big ball joint in there. So now all we gotta do is take these two pieces and screw them down to a chunk of MDF parallel, exactly that, uh, whatever it is, 10 inches apart that we need our arm to be. And then we can screw all the threaded, uh, threaded plugs into there and then measure out and properly cope our tubing and we can tack everything up while it's in this jig. Uh, the other benefit of this is when we go to do our lower control arm, or sorry, our upper control arms, we'll just drill another hole in the middle of this one for where the, uh, the ball joint needs to be and we'll do the same thing on the top and we can reuse these. Uh, if we wanna make longer arms, if we ever wanna make shorter arms, whatever it is, we can just keep these and screw them together further, further apart or closer together. So. Let's screw these down to a piece of MDF and then uh, line up all the plugs in them. There's our lower control arm jig. Um, it works really well. Unfortunately, it looks a little short. So I actually took and measured that compared to kind of where the lower control arm has to run. And the lower control arm, this is set where it needs to be. And if I measure this, just on rough calcs, the lower control arm should be closer to 15 inches. So. I got something screwed up somewhere between my measurements or my calculations online or something. So I don't want to start cutting and welding tube yet because I think we got to make it a little bit longer. So I'm going to take a break. I'm going to go back to the laptop. I'm going to remeasure everything and then we'll come back tomorrow with either a different measurement that we need to make our lower control arms or we'll start cutting tube. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. And I'm back. Um, I went back to my, uh, my calculations here. Turns out I forgot to put in the track width of the car. So I was just designing it to the default track width, which apparently is narrower than what our car is gonna be. So read it all the calculations. Uh, my new lower control arm length is 15 inches rather than 13 and a half. So we gained about three inches uh, of total width. So we got that. Uh, we need to modify that jig a little bit, but because of the way we built it, all I gotta do is pull four screws out, move the, the pieces of aluminum a little further apart, screw her back down, we're ready to go. So I'm gonna modify that and then cut a couple pieces of tubing and then we can start notching them to, to build our arms. piece number one and then off camera I built a second one so we just took and put a, a fish mouth on them there with the grinder uh, that's so that so that it mates up with this this is for our big ball joint so that it mates up with that and then this end here we just cut a cut an angle on it because we're gonna kind of weld this one like this but then this one here just gets welded on butt welded like that so we just had to cut chop an angle on it 
Uh, beveled all the edges so we get good weld penetration. Um, yeah, so we're ready to tack them up. I'm gonna prep these and then prep all of our, our little threaded plugs there too. And then whip out the welder and tack them in. That's all welded up. Um, one of the flaws of that jig is that I can't weld the back side of it. So I had to flip it over and, uh, and weld it and, and whatnot. And it's a little risky if it does start to warp while you're doing it, but I think we kept warpage to a minimum. Uh, we will go in later and add a cross brace in between the two, uh, the two heim joints to make sure they don't spread apart. But I'm out of time for this episode. So we're gonna call it there. Um, thank you so much for watching you guys. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. Go check us out on Instagram, Left Foot First Media, and we'll see you next episode. I'm out of here.